good morning today we are going to start new lesson in chemistry matter around us so under this topic we are going to discuss in detail about elements compounds mixtures separation of mixtures and types of solution now we'll move on to the lesson first we will define what is matter anything that has mass and occupies space is called as matter so you can say everything in your home and outside your house we call it as matter because they all have some mass means weight and they also occupy space so everything in our house and outside our house we call it as matter so this matter is classified into pure substances and impure substances pure substances are elements and compounds impure substances are mixtures so we'll discuss one by one in detail first what is an element an element contains atoms of same kind and it cannot be further broken down into simpler particles so if you see this in picture here each one red colored dot represents one single atom so you can say there are 15 atoms so all these 15 atoms they join together to form an element so for example i am saying 15 atoms so it could be anything so for example here sample of the element lead so each one single red color dot represent an atom all these atoms join together to form an element and second point if you see there cannot be broken down by physical or chemical methods means using any physical experiments or chemical experiments you cannot broke down into simpler particles examples you can say oxygen nitrogen and carbon what is the classification of element they are classified into metal metalloid and non metals so you all know very well metal means they are the good conductor of heat and electricity on the same hand non metals are sorry non metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity metalloids they will have the properties of both metal and non metal next we are going to see what is the definition of compound a compound is made of two or more elements so what did we saw in element it is made up of more number of atoms on the same hand compounds are an elements joined together we call them as compound but one condition is here these compounds are always combined in a fixed ratio by mass can you see it in the first point a compound is made up of two or more elements combined in a fixed ratio by mass means if you take water what is the formula for water h2 o so here there are two hydrogens and one oxygen so water always will carry two times of hydrogen and one oxygen it is fixed ratio so here compound always formed by a fixed ratio by mass what is the difference between the element and compound elements so as we seen before contains only one kind of atom compounds it contains more than one kind of atom since elements have repeated kind of atoms they are pure substances whereas compounds are impure substance these elements cannot be broken down but these compounds can be broken down by some chemical methods the last point for both elements and compounds they have definite physical and chemical properties next we are moving on to mixture what is a mixture a mixture is a impure substance which means it may contain elements or compounds also so it may have second point you can see it contains two or more kind of elements and com or compounds or both physically mixed together in any ratio so it is not like in compound compound they will always have a fixed ratio but mixtures they don't have any fixed ratio for example you can take lemonade so what how will you prepare a lemonade so you need to add lemon juice in water and uh, along with sugar so you don't take everything in the same quantity water is taken in different ml sugar is taken in different grams and lemon juice is taken in different ml so they are not mixed in a same ratio they are mixed in a different ratio so for uh, you can say lemonade is a mixture what is the difference between this compound and mixture so you can see it in the first picture sorry in the first picture you can see it is a mixture of a yellow color powder and dark gray color powder the yellow color powder represents sulfur the dark 
grey color powder represents iron so this iron and sulfur are mixed together when you take iron and sulfur separately iron is a element and sulfur is a element now can i separate them yellow color powder and grey color powder yes i can how will i separate iron has a good magnetic property so using a magnet i will separate the iron whereas the sulfur will be left behind so first one represents the mixture now the same mixture i'm going to heat it for few minutes so when i heat it i get this black colored compound which is called as iron 2 sulfide this is a compound why it is a compound it cannot be separated into individual elements as iron and sulfur because they have formed a new compound called iron 2 sulfide so first picture is a mixture second picture represent a compound what is the difference we'll see in detail mixture contains two or more substances but compound contains a single substance mixtures the constituent may be present in any proportion in compounds the constituent are present in definite proportion mixtures they show the properties of their constituents means so you saw in the first picture sulfur will show its own property that is which is yellow in color iron which is dark gray in color will show its own kind of property but that black colored powder which is a compound they do not show the properties of the constituent elements since they have formed a new compound mixtures last point the components may be separated easily by physical method so as we have separated the iron from sulfur using a magnet so mixtures can be separated but compound cannot be separated easily it requires one or more chemical reactions for separating them next we are going to see what are the different classifications of mixtures so mixture is classified into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture so this homogeneous mixture is further classified into true solutions and alloys heterogeneous mixture is classified into suspensions and colloids so we will see what is a mean by homogeneous and heterogeneous solution here homo means first picture you can see homogeneous solution homo means one one single phase that is mixture of sugar in water dissolution of sugar in water so when you dissolve a spoon of sugar in a glass of water you can see a one uniform single phase which is called as a homogeneous mixture they are uniformly mixed but heterogeneous means hetero means more than one so they have two phases they have more than one phase they are not mixed thoroughly example is mixture of sand in water so if you mix sand in water you can see two layers the bottom layer will be sand particles above you can see the water so two phases can be seen clearly so we, that we call it as a heterogeneous mixture next class we'll see how to separate these mixtures and what are the types of solutions we are having thank you